MMAviking.com here with Sirwan Kakai. You're back in Stockholm. What brings you back? Uh, I've just been here in Sweden for three weeks and uh, just to see family, friends, and uh, I have my friend out, Fernando, for his fight. And uh, man, he, he, just, he just won and did a great performance. I'm, I'm proud. Yeah, it was a, a good fight, but I think a lot of the buzz, and we want to talk to you about yourself. Uh, we, we've had the same interview, I think, for like three years now, four years now, getting a, a chance in the big show. This one seems to be gaining speed. Uh, uh, Alexander Gustafsson put on Instagram, and uh, w there's a lot of buzz about you and maybe Tippy getting together for a big fight. Tell us about, is this something the UFC has actually heard with all of the, the commotion? Um, man, I, I don't know. Yeah, as you said, we have been talking for this for like two, three years now. And it's getting a little bit boring, a little bit frustrating. But honestly, I mean, I had some set setbacks, but I think I'm, I'm back where I was. Even in the world rankings, I'm back where, where I was. I think I was ranked number 60 in the world as the best. But I'm, I think I'm 80 or something right now. And I'm, I'm, I'm getting back there. And uh, I just need to win and uh, maybe get the belt in Titan. I mean, if I'm going to beat anyone, uh, I'm going to try to beat anyone in the world. And, uh, you know, I can take everyone out who's not in the UFC either. But of course, I want to be in the UFC because I fight the same guys, the same caliber fighters in Titan that's in the UFC, and I get paid better. But um, yeah, I mean, I, I really think it's going to happen this time. I, I hope so. I, it feels like it. This time, it feels like it because it's been more hype, more media. And um, yeah, I mean, I don't know what they're waiting for. And there's not many Swedish people in the, Swedish, uh, in the fight card. They have two Swedish guys. They need someone. Someone more, and I think it's a great to have a Finnish guy who can bring Finnish people over. I mean, for me, it, it, it makes sense. I mean, if, if you're a matchmaker, you should make this fight. I cannot believe they, if, if they're going to pass this opportunity, I don't know what I need to do to get to, to the UFC. Yeah, I think one thing that makes you unique and a kind of a different candidate as a bantamweight is you're 11 and 2, but you have 10 finishes, which is just amazing. Listen, if Sean Shelby hears this, what I, what I hear is, Someone at the ATT told me that he thinks I'm a grinder. That I'm, I don't know if he thinks I'm boring, I'm boring fighter. That's why I was disappointed for my last fight because I knew he was in the U.S. and I wanted to just blast this guy and finish him in the first round. But I couldn't because I didn't want to take that risk. And he, he was so, he, he didn't want to exchange. He didn't want to fight me. He wanted to wrestle me. If he wanted to fight me, I would think I believe I could finish in the first round. So that's why I was frustrated. And I, but as you say, I have not like, more than 90% finishes in my record, and I don't know, they, but I don't know if it's true that Sean Shelby said that, but that's where I hear it. Okay, yeah, yeah, Joe Barajas, he is an undefeated guy, and you took him out, and you finished uh, another fighter, so maybe just one last uh, plea if Sean Shelby's listening, and uh, what's one more thing you could say to maybe put yourself on this card, or what would you want him to know? No, I, I think I can talk, I can t speak in English, and I can speak in Swedish, I can promote myself in America, and uh, even Middle East, and Sweden. So, like, I think I'm, uh, you know, I, I'm marketable, and I think I have a character, I'm not a boring person, I have some flavor, and definitely, I, I really think I'm an exciting fighter, too. And if you ask anybody in Sweden if I'm an exciting fighter, they know it. They have seen my fights, and I, I think I can put on a show. And I know I will do a good, good fight with uh, the Finnish guy. I cannot even say his name. <laughs> but, um, yeah, definitely. Great. Well, thanks, Ruan. Uh, hopefully we'll see you at January 24th here at Tele2 Arena, and good talking to you again.